Hey, good morning. This is Greg Peckman with Peckman Team Hancock Mortgage. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Get back into it. Just got back from Florida, the free republic of the Sunshine State. It was awesome. Uh, back in Tennessee, which is kind of, it's, it's, it's free. It's free than most states. It's definitely more free than California and, and some other places. So uh, very grateful to be here as well, too. I call both places home. I love Tennessee. And I love Florida. Um, so it's just uh, just good to be back, though. And just want to give you a quick tip here. Second homes and investment properties, this is coming up a lot more. A lot more people want to buy in different states right now. Obviously, what's going on in the past year. So just a quick tip here. Um, basically, uh, very, very important. Okay, so when you buy a second home, it's got to be at least 10% down. Okay, so you can't do 5% down. You can't do uh, 3% down or 3.5, you know. And, you know, government loans, this is something to really understand. Government loans, FHA, VA, USDA. Those type of loans have to be for primary residences, okay? Only conventional could be a second home, um, you know, setting it up that way or, you know, doing 20% down or 25% down, going, going, you know, buying it as an investment property. So conventional is the only way to do that for second homes. And, um, you know, compared to a primary residence where that's going to be government loans, that's going to be VA, FHA, and, and, you know, like any other type of government type of a loan. So, uh, just keep that in mind, you know, when you deal with conventional, when, you, when you're when you buying, you know, some other homes in, in different states and, and so forth, which is a great idea. If it makes sense, it's a good buy and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, it's got to be a conventional loan. It can't be a government loan. It has to be at least 10% down for second homes and 25, 20 to 25 with investment properties. Sometimes that's even more, depending on if it's condos in Florida and somebody's buying an investment property, it could be more down payment. And there's that's a whole different thing, you know, dealing with condos. But I just want to keep it basic here. Conventional loans, you can do primary and you can do second home and also an investment property. Government loans are only for primary residences, meaning FHA, VA, USDA. That's only for your primary home. Okay. Um, there's some caveats in that with VA and so forth. If somebody owns a house right now and, and now they want to buy another house. Um, but, you know, that's a whole different thing. Okay. But just keep that in mind. That's a general rule on, on that stuff, okay? Second home, 10% down. Investment property, 20, sometimes 25, uh, depending on if it's a condo or not, depending on the state and so forth, all that fun stuff. That, that gets all convoluted. But that's a whole another seven videos on that stuff. So anyway, have a great Monday. Let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, comment down below. Shoot me a quick text, 423-262-9229. Or shoot me a private message here on Facebook and I can respond that way as well. Have a great day. Have a great Monday. Kill it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.